Hello. Part two, baby. Let's get into it. So a quick recap, if you didn't watch my last video, I talked in general about the languages of Terra. You should go watch that video if you haven't to get more of an understanding of what it was talked about. This video will be about Rose Island specifically. For the simplification's sake, I will be referring to all the languages by their lore accurate names. Now, if you haven't read the Rainbow Six Siege event, then this will seem really cool to you. If not, you may already know the answer. That's why this went from a see you in December to, hey, it's been like a week. So I wanted to start with the info I learned and where some of my incorrect hypothesis went. The first time I ever thought about languages in general was during the Gaviel event, where they spoke Sargonia. Gaviel said, ah, right. I forgot you guys don't speak the language. We're in Sargon, but no one here speaks standard Sargonian. I'll translate anything anyone says to you. This made me go, oh, so they speak Sargonian. Cool. And went about my day. But that didn't make any sense once I started really thinking about it. Why Sargonian? Sargon may be a big country, but it doesn't seem very developed. And you hear about a lot of other countries being way more developed than it. Once I got thinking about it more, I seen all the chapters had Ursus and Yaniz in their pictures. They're tied to where the chapter takes place and basically just say the location. Well, I thought, what if it's Ursus or Yaniz? Yaniz was a quick cutout with about two lines. Mr. Nothing said, the way you speak the Yen tongue was decently suggestive of it, hence my curiosity. Lava to herself, I kind of only looked into Yaniz right before we left, or whatever. That ruled out Yaniz. Kind of sad, because I would have thought they spoke Yaniz, you know, Chinese game. But that just means their idea of story outweighs them using their native tongue as the common language. Now there's a lot of bears in the land ship. <sighs> Not that kind. And Ursus is a big country. That seems way more developed than Sargon. But Hawk is explicit to say in Ursine, don't mention it. So the rest of the conversation must take place in another language, thus ruling out Ursine. Now in the same scene, you have Gaulish mentioned and shot down instantly. As a modern country, why would you use a dead language? Sarka has potential because Rhode Island was formerly Babel, with ties to the former Queen of Castle. It would make sense to speak the Sarka's tongue, but much like Babel, it has fallen, and why would you speak a dying country's language? Rhode Island's trying to be modern here, the last big one I wanted to find out about was Lingua Franca. Now I say find out about it because I could only get one bit of info on it. I was unable to reference the game for it, so odds are I just skimmed past it. I mean, my goal for this video was December, so I skimmed through a good chunk of info just to try to get this video out. But this language is commonly used between elites, and this one has some of the most potential out of all of them. But sadly, I don't think it'd be used as the main language, at least. Because Rhode Island needs to communicate with everyone, not just elites. Okay, quickly before I finish this up. You're probably asking yourself, okay, cool. Some operators must speak multiple languages, though. That has to be common. And you're right. Odds are, it'd probably be one of the most common things to find operators who are bilingual or possibly trilingual. Hell, maybe even more. But... You can't go running a company without everyone at least speaking one language in common. Think about it, it doesn't take much to learn the basics of a language. Like, guten morgen. Good morning. You know, a basic greeting of whatever. Wer, was, wenn, wo, rum und wie. Or, who, what, when, where, why, and how, to ask any question really. Or something like, Taktisch, du Scheißkopf, willst du sterben? You know, the basics. I will say it's interesting that with so far what I've seen in the Rainbow Six Siege is that they have profanity written, not an actual swear word, just profanity. Though it does specifically say that Russian is different. They call it, what is it, Kiril? Kryl? Something like that. 
Cyrillic. Which is basically just the alphabet, or I should say Russian alphabet, along with most Slavic countries. So that means that the language transfer isn't one for one written, but it is probably one for one spoken for the most part, with just a weird accent to it. Which again, this is just something that comes out of the Rainbow Six Siege event, obviously inside of the series it all just seems normal. So I'll show you the information I had for my hypothesis, and then I'll give you the damning bit of evidence at the end. I believe they speak Victorian. First reason is that it's spoken in three big countries on Terra, one of which is a rising world power and the other one already is. It's a popular language to learn. Nightingale's robes has followers written on it in Victorian. She's from Kazdal, and the followers are founded by Neural. She's from Casimir. Speaking of which, Catapult shirt says love and peace in Victorian too. Now by far, one of the biggest pieces of info I had found and the basis for my hypothesis was Rhodes Island is written in Victorian. On top of that, the logo says, may I enjoy my life and practice my arts, respected by all men in all time. This is where the hypothesis became theory, to use the most accurate terms. In these three lines of dialogue. Ockfin, who are you? Ash, don't move, your leg is broken. Ockfin, mercenaries? In these three lines of dialogue, we have a Rhodes Island operator clearly communicating with Ash. Before this, it was mentioned that Ash and Tachanka speak in a very weird accent, but undoubtedly Victorian. So, I shall say that they speak Victorian as the official language of Rhodes Island, but much like the real world, English is just a common language to learn, so that's how come they happen to be able to communicate with several other people outside of it. So I've been working on this theory for about two months before this video was dropped. There are small tidbits all over the place, and I wanted to collect all of them together. I mean, look at all this. All of this stuff I hadn't read yet. I wanted to read all of it. I've skimmed a bunch of it now, but I wanted to actually sit down and read all of it properly. But because they basically said it in this event, which I was actually really waiting for this event to end to really get into working on this, I just kind of wanted to get this out there. I wanted to do this quickly. So with that, we'll call it here. Thank you all for watching. I hope you all enjoyed it. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Other than that, see you around and have a good day.